Yeah, so at this uh, Congress, we are presenting an update on the CLL14 study. So the six year data from this randomized phase three study in which we tested in already when we enrolled patients between 2015 to 2016, um, patients with previously untreated CLL and coexisting conditions to receive either venetoclax obinutuzumab or chlorambucil obinutuzumab, each given for one year. And uh, now all patients are off treatment for more than five years, so we have really the unique chance to observe how the disease evolves now without any treatment and also to understand how our patients are uh, doing now that they are off study treatment, how long they stay in remission, how's their quality of life, all of these very relevant uh, parameters. And so what we are reporting here at this Congress is um, that the majority of patients is still in remission five years after end of treatment. So 53% of the patients um, are still alive and did not progress after venetoclax obinutuzumab, which is significantly longer than what you observe with the chemomonotherapy. So in that sense, we are pretty much confirming what we've been observing in the past, but now with additional years of follow-up, we see that this efficacy is still sustained in these patients. And we are also seeing um, that the survival of the patient is compared to chemo monotherapy in the frontline setting also getting better. It's not statistically significant. It's not a statistically significant difference to um, chemo monotherapy, but we see that there is certainly a numerical advantage of having an effective treatment in the frontline setting. Uh, and then we also report on the long-term safety um, of this regimen, seeing that there is no treatment-related toxicity given that patients are now all of treatment, which is another key advantage of having a fixed-duration treatment.